I have to tell her about my divorce and my marriage, like now. Like everything that he says, it sounds like me. Rachel, you said this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. This recap was like watching two people smash with their eyes. Fifty shades of grey? Nope. I think this is pretty much 25 shades of grey. The episode kicked off with Brent and Tamara waking up as husband and she-devil. I mean wife for the first time. To no surprise, it seems they slept separately and that Brent's dreams of being Little Spoon remain unreleased. They are still hung up on the knife saga from their wedding reception. But Brent feels there is sexual chemistry brewing as a result of their undenying hatred towards one another. Well, meanwhile, Celine has forgotten she got married and Anthony is trying to be romantic by feeding his new wife. And that is about the last time or rather the only time we will see Celine and Anthony in this episode. Dominica has been matched with Jack and Dominica's friends call her Princess Bogan and I guess I too will call her Princess Bogan from time to time and this princess got divorced after two whole months of being married and she is now ready for love with a man with a dog and guess what Jack has a dog the next match is that of the hottest pairing so far objectively hot Ella and objectively hot Mitch. Ella has been single for nine years and Mitch is skeptical about the experts and this whole show. So um why are you here? This is an amazing idea. I love this idea. Mitch throws a joke towards John and he doesn't seem to like it. Not at all. Over to Princess Bogan and nice guy Jack's wedding, he reacts to seeing her for the first time with not just one, but with the whole entire two rows of teeth. The man has joy and I'm here for it. She reckons he's perfect too. The princess and the nice guy are both vegetarians, Italians and lovers of dogs. Cue the dog with a little tux. Mitch and Ella meet at the end of the aisle and can't stop listing hot things they like about one another, including, but not limited to, smile, height, great figure, grooming, eyes, and scent. They both smell nice. They wanna bone so much and you could cut the sexual tension with Brent and Tamara's upside down knife. Mitch gets down on one knee and proposes to her during the ceremony. Ola from the Boston series that's currently running did this two weeks back and I'll insert the link to that video above. The photographer asks them to kiss and they sure have been waiting for this moment and dive straight for a French kiss during the photo shoot. Back at Dominica and nice guy Jack, the princess get hung up on the letter M. M is for marriage, Jack lives in Miller's Point, Jack's surname is Miller, the show is called Married at First Sight, also French kiss but it lacks the passion of the hotties Ella and Mitch. Speaking of the hot couple, they continue to thirst over each other as they have a conversation. It's all about how hot they find each other. It's funny you said I'm exactly the same. And Elle is catching feelings based on her thirst for Mitch. Dominica pulls mom aside to tell her about her divorce but mom is dreaming about the future. I have to tell her about my divorce and my marriage, like now. He just has so much to offer. Elle FaceTimes her friend to tell her how good her husband smells and Mitch tells Elle he's done with dating apps. But Elle's desire to get some overrode her hearing abilities. At the honeymoon suites, Elle reveals her three-day rule and shuts Mitch down. Dominica eventually tells Jack about the divorce and everything is fine. 
Do you think L will make it to day three? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.